It's hard to believe The Munsters originally aired for only two seasons, from 1964 through 66, but 30 years later it continues to rank strong as ever on cable and in syndication. Butch Patrick, who played America's favorite boy werewolf, Eddie Munster, was already a seasoned pro way before he sprouted ears. I started my acting career when I was seven years old. Uh, my first part was a Kellogg's Corn Flakes commercial. The best few each morning, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Monsters came about when I was 10 years old, and then I started filming when I was 11. We had a pretty interesting set. We had a lot of um, makeup and special effects. It was a great place to be a kid. I won't go back here even if I die! Actually, it was, it was like, really, it was like a second family. After his Munster years, Butch cashed in on his child star bank account and his newfound freedom. So I went out and got my money when I was 19 and went surfing and traveled a lot. You know, didn't really want to work because I didn't have to, for, for one, and I'd been working, you know, for 13, 14 years, so I felt that I was entitled to a little vacation, which I took. Butch formed a band, Eddie and the Monsters. The group even released a single called Whatever Happened to Eddie. I'm not really a very good musician. I don't sing very well, so I was, I was really in the wrong element. Today, Butch is involved in several business ventures with his partner and girlfriend, Pam Curtis. She's the president of the fan club. She's also my traveling companion, and you know, she takes care of a lot of the business we do together. We're, we're, we're a team. Together with thousands of Munster faithful throughout the world, Pam and Butch are dusting off those old Munster cobwebs and putting them on a new kind of web. On the Munster page on the internet, the Munster.com page, we designed up a page to introduce me sort of to the world through the internet. Okay, that page looks good. I've there. put on my pointed ears in the past a few other times, and people hire me to come out and sign autographs. And it's Halloween when everybody else is in costume. I don't mind doing it. And then that led to the uh, the, the commercials that you see with me donning the ears again for a for a pizza manufacturer. They don't charge a lot, so they can't afford a big name. Everybody knows it was done in jest. You know, you just can't do that seriously and, and come off as uh, you know doing Macbeth in ears. <laughs> The grandfather will come up with his son my age, and then they'll have their son, who's about maybe 10 or 11 years old. And the grandfather watched the show when it first came out. His kid loved it as a kid. Now he's as old, now his kid's watching it, and the kid comes up to me and looks at me, he goes, that's not Eddie Munster, that's an old man. And I go, you know, hey, be nice, you'll be this old too. But you see three generations of family it's nice. It's, a, it's kind of an honor, I suppose, to be taken into these people's lives and be treated as, as one of theirs. Night, Grandpa.